Street Food. What up, street foodies? We're still hanging out in my hometown this week, Panama City Beach. Check out last week's episode for some thoughts on culture. This week, I'm trying something new. All right, downtown Panama City. I heard about this place. It's not a food truck, it's a food boat. It's about to check it out and see. It's called Just the Cook. We're gonna see what this place is all about, if I can find it, which I think I can, but you know. We'll see. It's a food boat, y'all. Before we get to that, I want to mention this other series I've been releasing. It's called Pen Pals. It's basically an open letter that my buddy and I are writing back and forth about creativity and the creative process, and we're inviting others to kind of chime in. Real people don't interrupt each other. The script is here, but it needs to be here. This week's question was about origin stories, and since we're talking about hometowns, I figured I'd mention it. You know, if you like to be creative, you like making stuff, maybe check it out. Or don't, whatever. Let's get back to that food boat, though. Just the Cook is owned and operated by Ernie Hall, one of the area's more famous cooks. He's been on the Food Network before, where he was hailed as one of the top 16 cooks in all of America at that time. So right there in St. Andrew's Marina, next to all these regular boats, there's a food boat. It's across from the Freemason Temple. But you know, whatever. You step onto the dock, you do not board the vessel. It says very clearly, do not board the vessel. You order at this little bar, you leave the dock, you sit on a bench, they bring in your food. After some time has passed, they make it fresh, y'all. Now it just so happens that I hit up the place on National Grilled Cheese Day. National Grilled Cheese Day? What is up with national days of whatever the heck you want anyway? National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Whom does that benefit, can I ask? Who is that for? I get that we're consumers, you know, our economy is based on consumption, and National Buy a Burger Day drives our economy, but how many people are manufacturing pirate paraphernalia that it benefits them to have a National Talk Like a Pirate Day? This is ridiculous. I'm getting off track. National Grilled Cheese Day. You know, I think that's stupid, but since I happen to like grilled cheese, I will Accept it as a legitimate holiday. Let's do this. So I had a grilled cheese. Ernie put some beef brisket on that ciabatta with smoked gouda. Quality ingredients. This is not your teenager's grilled cheese. Hashtag adult food. Now grilled cheese aside, let me tell you what I know about Ernie. Okay, you can watch him on TV, you can respect him as a cook, whatever you want. But I'm sitting there and it's about to rain. Ernie comes out and he's checking on the customers and he sees that I have a camera. And he's like, hey, you wanna see something cool? I'm like, Yes. He invites me on board. Do not board the vessel no longer applies to me. He takes me up to the second deck and shows me one of the best views of a storm rolling in on the marina that you will ever get. What a cool guy, right? I asked him how he got the idea for a food boat. He told me he was going to do a food truck, but then he saw a picture of some people waiting in line on the beach for some hot dogs out of a boat. He was like hundreds of people. He was like, hey, what's the event? They're like, dude, this is every day. And he was like, food boat, that's where it's at. He's not from the area originally, but the boat that he bought was in Panama City. It was formerly called the Wet Wiener. <clears throat> I tried to Google an image of that. It did not go well. I just, just cautionary tale for you right there. Eventually he was like, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh snap, Jaws reference. He eventually got a bigger boat, which is where Just the Cook operates out of. Now, he used to move around a lot, but now he pretty much stays docked here. Right at the corner of Bayview and 11th. So you get the vibe of a food truck in a boat, in a pretty much stationary place, which is similar to Finn's last week. I highly recommend the food and the vibe of Just the Cook. If you're in the area, definitely check him out. My dad liked the sandwich too, although he said it's not really fair to call it a grilled cheese. It's not grilled cheese. <laughs> it's not really a grilled cheese, is it? It's good. I could eat there every day. How did you hear about that place? I read about it in a local paper. So how was it? Did you have fun? What's the most unique food truck you've ever heard of? Leave your answer in the comments below. Plus, check out the comments section of two weeks ago's episode for some thoughts on grilled cheese. There's some great ideas in the comments there. Thanks for watching, Street Foodies. Next week we'll be in another town and I'll show you one of my wife's absolute favorite Chinese desserts. Until then, y'all keep eating it on the street. Watch out for the parasites. Street food. How about there's National Street Food Day where you have to go out, you have to eat food on the street, and also maybe you have to watch one of my videos. That would probably, you know, promote me quite a bit. That's a day I could get behind, National Street Food Day. As long as we're coming up with national days of whatnot. Some guy like, you know, I, I like raviolis. How about let's have a National Raviolis Day? Or more likely, you know what it is. Some guy's like, hey, I sell raviolis. How about we do a National Ravioli Day? Everybody can buy my raviolis. I'm gonna make it big. Y'all need to give me a break with all this National Day nonsense, okay? How about National Adult Food Day? Hashtag adult food.